In this video, I wanted to give you kind of a general basic tip for how match coverage can work for you against um, different types of formations. Most importantly, just wanted to kind of talk you through today a diagram, um, just, just kind of a, a template, if you will, of how you can approach uh, understanding match coverage a little bit better and also how you can kind of use it um, in a way that you don't have to be so scared to run this coverage. I think it's one of the best coverages in the game by far. And we're going to talk about it today specifically um, against maybe one or two sets. Um, these like two tight end sets you see a lot online and also just kind of a standard doubles type of passing uh, formation. And we can run this defense out of several different formations. Um, but I, I think the best for quarters in particular, cover four quarters, is the uh, cover four show two. Now cover four quarters is also called mod sky or man on demand. And so basically it's talking about how the outside quarters are going to handle uh, certain different routes. And so this coverage does have certain checks and certain adjustments based on formation. And so um, just wanted to walk through a couple of the core tenets of the coverage today. So when we're defending um, something like a gun doubles type of look like this, if you will, um, what you're gonna see here is this tight end is attached uh, to the right side and so really what we have here is if I was to audible down to I mean even just like a single back doubles or something this is basically a pro set to the right side because the tight end is attached on the line of scrimmage and on the left side it is a twin set because you have a slot receiver and an outside receiver now the best way to explain the difference here is actually to show this from cover for palms um, because there's a specific check that you'll notice with cover four palms versus uh, cover four quarters, a little bit of a nuance here. And, and this is important so that you can kind of understand, um, you know, just how this coverage works when you're, when you're drawing up defenses for it. So I'm just gonna come back out again and show this simple, you know, fade out concept, if you will. These little quick outs with fades attached to them with palms, what's gonna happen is against a twin set, and this is primarily, it's again, against a twin set, they are trying to, you know, deter flat routes. They're trying to deter the 10 yard out in particularly. They're also trying to guard bubble screens a little bit better. They're gonna play this trap coverage. And so to the left side, you'll see that they will actually go and guard that number one corner is going to trap that out route. So you'll see right here, he'll trap the out route. Um, and then the backside guy will uh, hang with the backside play. So I'll show you that again. I got an audible to it here. Um, so cover four palms. And then what you'll see here is these outside guys see they'll trap the out route on the left but on the right they don't and that's because of the different type of formation is gonna is going to determine a different set of rules for the coverage and so if you take a look here you're gonna see that on the left side this guy is going to guard this out route but then this guy's gonna swap off and take this vertically okay on the right side though because the tight end is attached and the tight end runs the same route he is not going to deal with it. You see there, we're gonna play it exactly like we would a traditional quarters uh, coverage. So just wanted to illustrate like how the coverage shifts based on where the receivers are. Now, if I was to go to, I'll show you something interesting. So if I was to go to a doubles like spread flex or doubles flex and run the same basic route combination, which I could just create it here, what you'll see with this is if I'm in cover four palms, you'll see that now what we have in the formation is we have twins to both sides, okay? So because we have twins to both sides, I'm gonna do something like this. So it's basically the same concept. And what you'll see is both sides are gonna play it the same because both sides have twins. There's no tight end attached. So because of that, you're gonna get this little swap off and they're gonna both play that trap technique. So it's just important to understand when you're playing defense, there's only a couple of types of things um, really that you're going to get. It's best to start with this. So if I come out in like an I-form pro set, you see here that if you look at it, my receivers are, I have a tight end and then I have two outside receivers. And then let's say for example that I have a twin set. So that might look something like wing slot. So on the left side I have twins and then on the right side I have this tight end and running back attachment type of piece. This is also something that you'll see from like a gun, uh, something like this, a gun stack or gun wing slot. And if we take a look at this on the field, 
um, what you're going to notice I think is very interesting about how this coverage adapts is we have two different types of formations again match coverage splits the field in half and so to the to the left side of the field we have twins a traditional twins formation to the left side of the field on the right side of the field we have a compression set so what we should get on the right side is a box check and on the left side we should get your standard uh, match coverage t check so if I run a smash concept like this to the left side and then on the right side I'm gonna run circle um, I'm gonna put him on a streak and I'm gonna put Gronkowski on a corner route and what you'll see here is this coverage will basically run that box check and you see how it takes away the corner route um, to the tight end so that's something that you need to kind of pay attention to just in terms of understanding how your coverage really works um, so that you understand the rules of this coverage you know if I was to float the back to the right here I'll show you it's gonna be a little bit better so like let's say they're in a formation like this and they do something like this you'll see that in this match coverage the outside guy will take that corner route see how that swap off there and then you have that coming over the top from a traditional twin so you're in in one defense you're actually playing two completely different defenses based on what the formation is doing you're playing box check to the right side of the formation and on the left side of the formation you're playing traditional quarters um, in terms of like traditional mod sky quarters where they're going to be matching man on and man there's that no cover zone of five yards and you're going to be able to hang with that now let me give you another one so uh, let's go to like a y trips type of set so in a y trips type of set your tight end is attached but it's still technically a trips formation and then you have this running back on the backside, right so what you're going to get typically is you're going to get basically a rolled coverage to the right so this guy on the left is going to be man on um, he's going to actually be man locked on the solo receiver. This defender is going to typically be in man coverage on the running back. So what I like to do is actually re put him in a curl flat. And the reason why is because I don't want him to be in man coverage on the running back because um, he's going to get out leveraged on anything that the running back runs across. So what this does is give, you know, my three red hook a little bit more freedom uh, just in terms of how, how he guards him. So, might look something like this if you will i'll bluff blitz the d lineman user this guy and then this guy can be kind of like a you know whatever i want him to do kind of thing um with trips uh what you'll notice is this formation you're not going to get um well you're basically going to get mod quarters it's just rolled over so if they run like a streak to godwin and they run a flat to the slot receiver and then maybe back here they run like a little flood concept over here kind of thing or a out route to the running back in route to the in route to the outside receiver okay the if you take a look at this the safety on the left side should go guard this corner route um, you'll see that he kind of dumbs out and doesn't and that's kind of a the big problem when defending trips in this game so what you can do to kind of combat this with the quarters and this is why I like 335 wide is I could just say okay I'm gonna man up that corner route so that we can guard it a little bit better and then everything else is gonna be pretty you know, pretty effective so you'll see here now I'm gonna run that same combo and this corner route to the tight end that should be matched by that guy even though it's not the main coverage will play it so the what I like about 335 wide it, it gives you this additional cover player to solve some problems um, that they might have you know based on situation so it's one of the reasons why I think 335 wide is one of the most versatile defenses in the game because you could be in a situation like this and be able to just simply man him up and now you have you know coverage another thing you could do is let's say that you're doing something like this you could easily take this guy and man him up on the tight end uh, and what you'll see with this main coverage on the tight end is now he won't mess that up. So even if they run something like like this, if you will, you're still going to get match coverage on that, that number two because of the quarters. He obviously doesn't guard him perfectly, but he is in the area. And then your user can be helping with, with the deep crossing routes or stuff like that. But 
now you have a completely different coverage. If you think about it, you have a solo check to the back side, so they're going to lock that down. And then on the right side, you have a rolled coverage. So these are just some of the basic principles where match coverage can change based off a situation. And this is kind of how you can um, combat some of the basic things um, that the opponent is going to do from an offensive perspective. I want to thank you for watching this defense. If you want to get my entire 46 defense, 335 wide defensive guide, I've got a whole defensive ebook devoted to teaching the principles of match coverage. And I also have a full defensive ebook um, devoted to teaching you the 335 wide defense this year. So if you want to get both of those, you can actually get both of them by signing up for my Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. And by signing up, that gets you access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. So if you're watching this video and you want to sign up, just go down to the description of the video. You can click the link that I put down there. And it'll take you right over where you can get signed up for the membership. Thanks for watching. And if you want to check out the Patreon, head on down to the description.